guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm going to try a technique by Kathleen Miller. Uh, my friend Linda saw this video and sent it to me and asked me to try it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. I do not have the exact materials Kathleen had, so I'm hoping I'll still get a good result. And I will, of course, put the link for her video down in the description so you can see it. So to start off with, I am just attached. Uh, putting a layer of white house paint down on my canvas. There's nothing mixed in here. It is literally just white house paint. All materials will be listed in the description. So I really hope that I can get at least a similar result to her. Now I'm going to go ahead and drizzle a bunch of colors around on my canvas. I take a stick and I'm using a much smaller canvas than she used so I'm sure I don't need quite as much as she did but I'm trying to make something really bright and fun and I'll try to list all the colors in the description but I'm gonna use a lot of them a lot of the colors that I'm using here are the color art primary elements pigments and mine which is where I differ from Kathleen's on this, are mixed with um, the Bare Deep Base enamel and then also uh, the Minwax Polyacrylic. So she mixes hers a bit differently. I did not have the materials she had, so I hope mine still comes out cool. I'm liking this already. It is at least minimally a very fun <laughs> Technique, okay. I'm trying to use just a bunch of colors. So here we have a green. She even has a, a t-shirt that says this, what is it? Uh, it's like drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. It's really cute. So, anywho, hopefully we get something half decent here. Okay, at this point we've got a lot of color on there. You can still see some of the white through and it looks like a hot mess. So now I'm gonna take some of this black cell activator which I mixed up per her instructions with the Amsterdam Black and just regular Floetrol, American Floetrol. Although if you have Australian, I would think that could possibly work as well, but that's just the two ingredients in here. And I'm gonna take a playing card. We got a Jack. I'm gonna dip this in here, get a nice good amount. And then I'm sure that you can swipe this from wherever. I'm going to just do the middle, kind of like she did. And I'm just going to swipe. Okay, my first one wasn't so good. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the card off. And do another one. But you can see, look at these really cool reactions coming up. There's no silicone or any other additives in here. So I just need to make sure my swipe continues all the way to the end there. All right. And I'm sure you can swipe with other colors. She recommends swiping with black. So that's what I'm doing for this one. At least this first try here. When I'm done, I'll go back through and just get any spots that I missed. So don't worry too much. This is already looking awesome. Look at all those cells. All right, I'm going to spin this around and do the other side. I'm right-handed, so that's just easier for me.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go over a couple more of these spots over here that I missed. And also up here, I feel like there's maybe a little too much black. Okay. I'm actually happy with that. It's not perfect, but you know what? This is my first try, so that's okay. I'm going to leave it as is. Now for the next step, we're going to go ahead and wreck this. I've never wrecked a swipe before. It seems like fun. I'm sure that this step is optional, but because she did it in her technique, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just take a stick and just go through my design here and just make some fun, oops, little designs. Just add to this a bit. I've done this with a lot of tree rings, but like I said before, never with a swipe. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more. All right, and now we spin. And that should make those cells even bigger. Here we go. I'm going to spin it several times and I'm not going to spin it very hard. So just kind of gently. Okay, I don't think I'm spinning hard enough. It's not moving out. Let's try a little harder. There we go. We finally got some motion. All right, not nearly as cool as Kathleen's, but hey, I'm trying. All right, I'm gonna spin a few more times. with that I'm gonna leave it as is this is definitely something that I will be practicing on and I'm gonna try to get the exact materials that she uses so I can hopefully get the a little more similar results but I'm really happy with my first try I think it came out awesome look at these just really fun cells and just the colors and everything are super fun so I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and then we'll do a close-up all right guys, I actually almost forgot to do the close up. So it's actually been a couple hours I came back to do this. Um, but I just love this. This is so much fun. Definitely not nearly as good as Kathleen's. I will have to practice and I'm gonna try to get the exact materials that she used. I think honestly also that I wrecked it a few too many times for this small of a canvas, but that's okay. I don't mind, I think it's gorgeous. I love the cells and reactions on this and the contrast of those colors. So thank you so much to Kathleen for the video and for Linda for suggesting it. Guys, make sure you go and check out Kathleen's channel and subscribe. Link will be in the description as always. And I will see you all next time.